G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Taking a short walk from the Brockton Highway to the Brockton Shelter. Let's go and have a look what's there. Here we are, Brockton Shelter. So let's go and have a look inside. Now, I don't know exactly how many people this shelter has been made for, but looking at it, you could probably get a good 12, 14 people in here at a squeeze. And as you can see, it's also one of the rammed earth ones, which I'm not over keen on these type, just not so warm and bush feeling as the wooden ones but still very nice there's your rake and your broom in the corner so remember clean up after yourself so it's respectable when the next hikers come through we've got our boxes here there you've got your trail log book you got to sign in saying where you come from where you're going i'll do that in a moment They've got a overnight food storage box which will help stop the critters getting to your food at night or chewing into your pack to get to your food. Let's have a look. Yep, just a little MDF box with some pine frame on it. Yeah, we've got the like cast iron hooks situated around the top for you handing your packs on. And no burning, no fires from the 1st of December until the 31st of March and that may be extended. So keep an eye out for that. And as you see we've got the picnic bench inside. And we've got two more outs here and your firing which as we just said you can't be used now until the earliest 31st of March and maybe later. A lovely view here. All the grass trees. You can just hear the traffic from Brookton Highway over that direction. The Dunny. Yeah, your toilet. And these are drop toilets and they are non-flushing and they are composting. So please only... Oh, something's knocking on my camera. Let's unplug that to stop it. That's it. Yeah. Only to use the toilet tissue. Wet wipes is a no-no because that's destroys the composting so the toilets end up smelling you get maggots and flies in them ladies when it's that time of the month unfortunately you have to carry that out with you because that cannot be disposed of in these toilets and no chemicals because if you drop chemicals down these toilets again it will destroy the composting so it will smell flies maggots all that stuff now at this toilet as you can see by the size and the railings is designed for disabled people to use 
but somebody here has left a lid up. Always remember to put the lid down so no critters fall in there. We don't want any of those little bush animals or creatures falling down and getting stuck. Toilet roll, there's plenty here at the moment, but toilet rolls are not provided, or normally. That's other hikers and trail angels and volunteers. So we'll drop some off every now and then. So you need to really carry your own toilet roll for the whole du duration of your hike. And we've got a track here, which I believe would go down to the camp pitches. But there's a big spider web going across this one. Let's go show you. Now this otherwise would have been used as a shortcut. And is there a way around? So we'll walk, carefully walk around. I don't want to disturb his web. To one of the camp pitches. This morning I don't shed on any anything else. Now here's one of the pitches. A little bit gravelly. Not so level and even a bench there if you don't mind sitting on it it's a bit charcoal so you end up with a black bum the ants are getting to this one but with a decent sleep mat you should be okay it is a bit on a decline starting there going down into the far corner there you could make that work let's go down to the next one We'll see where this track takes us to another one. Yep, a nice small one here. Like I said, you've got all the pea gravel on it. So, like I said, for comfort wise, you're going to need a decent sleep mat, but also a footprint or a ground sheet for your tent to protect the bottom of your tent, you don't want to wear that out too soon. And each of these pitches I've looked at so far are big enough for one, uh, I'll class it as a one, two person hiking tent. that will comfortably fit on them too. Now walking back down this way, we've got another one, which has got the gravel on there, but not so bad, it's a little bit more level, but we've got some rocky bits here, and here, but still not too bad. Like I said, a decent mat and decent footprint for your tent or something to lay your bivy on so you don't damage your bivy. That'd be nice. I haven't seen any decent trees we can hang a hammock on yet here. Now here's a nice one. It's fairly clear, smooth, Levelish, a little bit higher that end than down here, but still a really nice one. So a comfortable one tent on that. Some of the views from this pitch, isn't it beautiful? Uh, next one over here, opposite to a diagonal. And when we're heading back towards the shelter. A little bit hard, a bit rocky, but fairly level. Give it a rake out. You could probably fit two comfortable on this area. I'd like to give that a rake out, get rid of some of the actual uh, pea gravel. But yeah, or even squeeze a third one here. Do the same rake it to clear all the bigger hard, uh, hard stuff, sharp bits. So if you come with some of your mates, you can all pitch up together there. Unless you snore, then you pitch away. Another one here, fairly nice. The, uh, the grass has tried to take it back. There's a clump in the middle and a few smaller clumps. They actually look like uh, the grass trees trying to come through. Not certain, but that's what they look like to me. Again, a beautiful view. Uh, big enough for comfortable one or if you wanted to again clear this side here you can get two 
side by side. And there's no more down this end. This is where the signpost from the shelter points down to the camp pitches. No, that's it, all the camp pitches. So there is room, you've got locks over here, just over from the shelter. You got an area there you could use for your tent. I'm sure if you came to it, if you had to, you could use these different areas, get the rake, get rid of some of the bigger pea gravel and stones. Same over here. And if you've got a free standing tent and there's nobody else in the shelter, or there's very few of you, you can always pop it up on the side, like I've seen done. Got two water tanks at this one. One on this side. Let's see how much is in there. Listen to it. Not a lot of water in there. So remember, carry enough water just in case there's not much. And please be sparing with this water because it is rain water tanks. There's no pipes to fill it up. And here's the second one around the back. Do the same with this one. This one's got some in. More than the other one, but still, make sure you carry enough water. Don't waste this water because it could be something that saves someone's life if they come hobbling into camp with dehydration and I know what that feels like and that's it that's Brockton shelter it's a nice little spot a little track here where's this take us to you can have a little look the animal track Looks like it's been well walked a bit, so... No, I think it's just that people have come for a walk into the bush to have a look. No, it's just a track. I think originally it was an animal track, but... As humans have started using it to have a look around and see what's out here. Yeah, like I mentioned, there are hammocks, trees. And this one is not that many trees around suitable for hanging hammocks. And you might have to walk out of the camp a little bit to find two trees up the access road there. But in the actual camp itself, I haven't seen any decent trees that you can comfortably hang your hammock from. Apart from the two over there you can see on the way to the dunny, but the actual track to the dunny goes straight between them. So if you do use a hammock, always remember use some tree straps to protect the trees, the bark. You don't want to damage them. So that's Brockton Shelter. You just hear the highway, but it's still a nice little spot. And if you're thinking of come up here in your four wheel drive on your bike, it's a hiker's shelter only and hiker's tracks only. You're not meant to be using the access roads to get up here in the four wheel drive. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, Please click on that subscribe button down below. Uh, click the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos. <laughs> click the thumbs up which is the like button. Ding! And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.